AI is going to be a part of their lives. So we're going to do them a disservice if we pretend like it's not there. Susan Uram says this school year is the start of a new era in education. Sometimes she knew she gave Entering uncharted territory for teachers who are often filled with answers but are now left with more questions thanks to artificial intelligence. If we can leverage how we're teaching and how we're using these devices, they can open up a whole new world. Urim is the director of educational technology for Rockford Public Schools, the largest district in the state line. After 18 years in the classroom, she's back where she started. That's good. That's what you need to do. In this summer course, showing teachers a new tool. It, it can be used for good, it can be used for bad. And so we can't assume that kids see both sides of that. So we have a responsibility, I believe, to help kids see that. But it's, it's not an easy thing, is it? Recent data shows 61% of Americans polled believe that AI does pose a risk to humanity. 22% disagreed, the remaining 17% were unsure. There was this question mark from teachers about, like, should kids be using this? How should they be using it? What's going on? And is it cheating? You know the student. You know their voice. And a lot of it, I think, is just going to come to, like, reimagining what these assignments are, which, yes, is more work, but I'm sure math teachers had to adjust a lot of their curriculum and the calculator was invented. Teachers in that course, they wanted to know, could students really be getting away with turning in work that isn't their own? And quite frankly, so did I. How easy is it? So I went on ChatGPT and I searched, what would a high school sophomore write in a book review about The Great Gatsby and its most important lesson throughout the book? In less than a minute, a five paragraph essay summarizing what ChatGPT had put together appeared on my screen. So I tried it again, this time with a different book. I said, what would a freshman in high school write about Animal Farm and the overall theme of the book? Again, in no time, I had another five paragraph essay right in front of me. So all that was left for me to do was turn in my assignment <laughs> and ask this teacher which, if any, were written by me. I think it would be hard for me to tell, but one of the red flags I have right out of the gate is some of the complex sentences makes me pause for a minute to kind of think about, again, what do I know about you as a learner and a writer? some of the structure of the paragraphs and in conclusion. I tend to think that both of these have an element of AI in them. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> now, despite my papers being flagged, Urim said she doesn't view what I did as cheating, but rather a teachable moment. Were they trying to get out of it? I could see that. Um, but why? Was it just a matter of time or was it lack of understanding? We as teachers will change how we're setting up some of these assignments to AI proof them. Educators are rewriting the rule book on the fly. A new technology with somewhat limitless capabilities is causing teachers to think deeper, forcing their students to do the same. What is entailed in proper use is really critical thinking, questioning, getting to the idea of being discerning about the information put in front of you and how to use it. The foundational skills are things that we were teaching kids long before AI. Now it's just given them an even more robust platform to put that to the test.